lot of times the agile world, I think it's stuck in this idea that we're inside the team sprints and it's like requirements to code and that's, that's it. But there's really this whole funnel from how you go from idea to actually releasing feedback. And there's a whole set of processes from you know, there's business analysts and product owners and prioritization decisions and there's coordination. It's like the bigger the enterprise, the more complex that flow gets. And mm -hmm. um, and so I think AI is going to be an accelerant across the board. And if organizations don't start optimizing the entire process, any gains in software development and writing of code isn't going to matter because there's just right. screened. Well, yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, in like in the in the Toyota lean manufacturing or lean yeah. software development flow kind of thing, right. you're, you're thinking about one single piece flow and pull driven, you know, and uh, yeah. finding the bottlenecks. Well, all we're doing is making one part of our assembly line more efficient. Exactly. But if you understand, you know, how an assembly line works, you now have the next stage backed up. So, you know, now we got to talk about QA. We got to talk about documentation. We got to talk about release and operations. And maybe they're moving too fast to pull. Maybe we're not getting requirements fast enough from upstream now. And, yeah. you know, so maybe this is the argument that says, well, AI is going to take jobs because now that one part of our pipeline is moving too fast. We need to slow it down. We need fewer yeah. people. Um not to not not because AI is doing their jobs, but because AI is helping them be too productive. We need fewer people to do the same amount of work. Now, I argue historically that American business industry has never actually executed that way. When you make the team twice as productive, maybe there's a bump where we fire half the team, but next year you're hiring double the team because now you can be four x productive, right? That that's that's how we work in the real world. So exactly. if you give me a tool that makes my team twice as productive, I'm trying to close twice as many clients, not fire yeah. half my team, yeah. right? <laughs> and, and if you have a tool that makes, uh, one of the things I've been saying a lot lately is like, if you, if you have, if we have a tool that's going to double or triple the, you know, say double the productivity of a, of a, of an engineering team, but you don't, you aren't set up to, to optimize that through that entire assembly line flow, then you're not going to, yeah. you know, you're not going to reap any of these benefits. 